Hello, today we're going to do a short introduction of the MDX650P, a great general use professional level tool that gives you the capability of testing batteries, starters and alternators all in a vehicle and with one simple hookup. Here's some of the options that are here. The feature set available in this MDX650P includes simply viewing or printing the previous or last test result. We've got a quality control mode, typically used in inventory control. We can export the data through the IR port on the side to an accessory printer if we had one of those. We can perform a test. We actually have language selection in each tool. We have English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. We also can go down continue scrolling where we can add the address, shop address, setting the date and time. Those are all standard units. The counter, this tells you the number of tests that were done and the decisions that were accompanying each of those tests. We've got the contrast for the screen and also the temperature units, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit, if you choose to select one of those. And you can simply use it as a voltmeter as well if you select that final screen. Now that we've got all those options identified, let's go ahead, hook up the cable set, and then I'll get in the van and we can get a test done on this particular vehicle that's in question. All right, we've got the MDX650P hooked up at the battery and I've jumped inside the vehicle. Let's go ahead and see if we can initiate a test. Yes, we are in vehicle. It is a top post battery, a traditional automotive flooded battery. It is rated in the CCAs and 600 is the value. We're completing the battery test and the decision comes up, good battery, 12.80 volts, 523 CCAs. I'm gonna hit the prompt, it says to start the engine. We measured 11.42 as the average starting voltage during the crank process, and the crank time is 1.29 seconds. I'm going to hit enter, checking for alternator output. Rev the engine with the loads off. This is bring the engine up to about 1500 or 2000 RPM and hold the RPM. Engine rev detected, idle engine. Drop it back to idle, hit next. Testing alternator at idle with the loads off. Now it's asking for turning the high beams on. I'm going to put my left foot on the brake pedal. Lower motor on high and rear defroster on. Now I'm going to hit enter. Testing alternator with the loads on. Now bring the RPM back up to 1500 to 2000. Hold it. Rev detected. Idle engine. Hit enter. Instructions, turn everything off. The test is already done. Charging system reports no problem. No load voltage was 14.33. Loaded voltage was 14.28. There's the good battery result. There's a cranking test, the result is normal. The charging system is normal. This vehicle is ready to go back on the road, but let's print out a copy of this test result so we can share it with our customer, complete our billing process, and go on to the next job. The printed result is exactly what you saw on the screen. You can put your dealership or site name in the top of the tool. The battery test was good. There's the values, regular flooded battery in vehicle top post. Cranking system normal, charging system no problems. We've just completed doing a full system test with the MDX 650P. We've been able to document that the battery, starter and alternator are all functioning as expected. No problems with this vehicle. We've been able to print out a copy of the results that we can share with our customer. This car is good to go. Let's put it back on the street and make room for the next job in the shop.